Okay, so what if your pap smear lists A, S, C, H, or atypical squamal cells and cannot exclude H seal? It means there are abnormal cells in the tissue that lines the outer part of the cervix. This may be a sign of high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, or HCL, which may turn into cancer if untreated. Your practitioner may not know for certain if you have high-grade lesions, and it is likely they will schedule you for a colposcopy. Another abnormal pap smear is HCL. As previously mentioned in ASCH, H seal stands for high grade squamous epithelial lesion. These abnormal cells are often referred to as high grade squamous intraepithelial lesions. If untreated, these cells could become cancerous in the future. It is very likely that your practitioner will order a colposcopy. A colposcopy is a procedure that closely examines the cervix vagina, and vulva for signs of disease. I will warn you against watching videos on colposcopy because the visuals are far worse than the actual procedure. The results of the colposcopy will determine whether you will need further testings or treatments. There are several factors that will determine if a colposcopy is needed, when a repeat pap smear is required, and how often testings are recommended. I hope this video was helpful and you now understand your abnormal pap smear results. I also have high hopes that your follow-up visits and exams are normal. Lastly, if you haven't been vaccinated against HPV, I encourage you to get vaccinated. HPV is linked to cervical cancer and getting vaccinated lowers your risk of developing cervical and other HPV related cancers. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.